Hey friends, Ash here. Welcome to Extra Gent Scents. Hope that you're doing well. Today I'm gonna to be taking a look at a fragrance from Lacoste. It's Lacoste Style and Play. Now this one came out in 2004. It's been talked about in the past on YouTube. A lot of different people have covered this one. It's pretty cheap, which you would expect from Lacoste. I think you can get this at discounters for somewhere in the like high 20s up to about $40 US range. I've heard rumblings that it's been discontinued, but it's still easy found. I've had my bottle for a really long time, so I don't have the box anymore or anything like that. Just this little bottle here, so that'll have to do. So let's go ahead and let's jump into it. Let's talk a little bit about Lacoste Style and Play. I'll let you guys know why this is a fragrance that you should have on your radar. So let's jump into it. Let's go ahead and kick things off with the presentation. Like I said, I don't have the box. So let's just go ahead and gaze at this picture that is uh, right up here in the corner. Use our imagination and pretend like I have it. It looks like that. Um, and it is in fact a box and who cares? I mean, ultimately. And here's the bottle. Looks like a little bit of a Lacoste Holy Hand Grenade. Has a nice gradient red at the bottom, clear up toward the top. You've got the name of the house right there on the front. Has these little indentations on the side of the bottle. On the bottom, you've got a sticker with your badge code. My badge code is 6159. And the cap clicks into place. And because I love you guys, I'll go ahead and waste a couple sprays so you can check out the atomizer in action. Here we go. It's, uh, it's an atomizer and it's okay. So as I said, this one came out in 2004. Perfumer is Anique Minardo. And if you're familiar with a lot of her work, when you spray this fragrance on, you can tell pretty much immediately. It's got her, her signature to it, a little bit of her, her fingerprints all over it, you could say. Now it's a Lacoste fragrance, and uh, that should tell you the type of scent that it is. It's a fresh scent. It's a little bit sporty, like most of their releases. But this one I think has a little extra something something to it, especially when you consider the price. Like I said earlier, you can get this for under $30 a lot of places still yet. So it's what I would consider a cheapie. So when you first spray this on, you get hit with a fruity blast of green apple. But it doesn't smell just like green apple. It's actually got a little more to it, a little extra something something, a little density there. So while it is fresh, it also has a little bit of heft to it in the opening, ever so slightly, like a hint of dustiness, almost like a, a brushing of plum is put in there with the green apple, though officially apple, I think, is the only fruit in the open. And then you've got this great kind of musky woodiness that comes in behind that apple, behind that fruity sweetness in the opening. It gives it a little more depth, so it doesn't just come across like this boring, generic gym fragrance or shower gel fragrance or anything like that. This is a fragrance that actually, for a little while, I kind of wrote off, wasn't all that interested in checking out. Part of that is because it's Lacoste. Part of it is because the name just didn't, didn't really mean anything to me. It just, you know, was style in play. And what, what does that actually mean? I guess you could say it means that you're stylish while having a good time or something. But when it first came out and for a number of years afterward, I just, didn't didn't really care. But then when I finally got around to picking it up, because again, it's, it's cheap, I was pleasantly surprised. It, it's actually got a bit of a nostalgic feel to me. So when I smell this, it, it definitely does smell a bit like a, a fragrance from, uh, you know, a couple decades ago, which at this point is what it is. But it, it has this nostalgic feeling to it without coming across too dated. I can still wear this and it's still gonna work, but it, it does give me a throwback feel a little bit, which is actually one of my favorite parts about wearing the fragrance. And I say that it has that throwback feel as if it you know, smells like fragrances that came out in years gone by, but it actually stands on its own quite well. It doesn't really smell exactly like anything else out there. Maybe a little bit like the old Hugo fragrance and the canteen screw top bottle. But frankly, between the two, I think this one's better. I think the quality here is nicer. Overall, the composition here is better and it comes across more well blended. Now, even though I said that this does have a little more density to it than you might expect from a Lacoste fragrance, it's still not something that's, you know, a really heavy handed or potentially cloying fragrance. It's not something that's going to work better in fall and winter. This is still at its heart, more of a spring summertime fragrance, which is what you expect from the brand. 
Now, I know most people are going to say that it leans more toward daytime use than nighttime use, and I agree with that overall, but I think that this does work during the night just as well as the day, frankly. So for me, it's one that you could wear either daytime or nighttime. It's a good casual scent, office safe as well. So a good amount of versatility here too. It doesn't change and evolve a huge amount. I mean, basically the biggest change that you're going to have is as it heads through the mid into the dry down and that fruitiness from the opening steps back a bit and you get more of that muskiness, a little bit of pine, uh, sort of a woodsy tone that comes in as it heads through the mid into the dry down. That's the biggest change. But outside of that, it's pretty simple the whole way through. The opening is absolutely my favorite part. That apple fruit combo, uh, which I think to different people is gonna come across a different way. Like some people are gonna say, uh, like I said before, that it has this sort of almost like hint, like a small smattering of plum mixing together with the apple. Other people are gonna pick up more of a citrusy feeling. Still yet more people will probably pick up kind of a, a melon uh, nuance kind of edge to the apple. But that's my favorite part, that opening where you have this light dustiness, this sweetness, this fruitiness, this freshness mixing together with musk, with the woods. I think it smells awesome. I love the opening here. The mid, the dry down, good too, but I think the opening is the, the star of the show for me. And thankfully, the opening actually lasts a pretty good amount of time because that fruitiness in the open doesn't just evaporate off your skin and, and dissipate. It sticks around for a while. Performance on my skin is not too bad. It's what I would consider average. It's not beastly, but it's not weak either. I know that some people uh, have, have said that they have issues with the performance here, that it kind of craps out on their skin a little bit too quickly. Thankfully, I don't have that issue here. It could be that newer batches of this uh, maybe do have worse performance, but this one's pretty good. I would say off my skin, about six hours in terms of longevity. Projection is right in the average range. As I said before, not massive, but definitely uh, enough projection that people are gonna be able to pick this up pretty easily as I move around or as they go by me, you know, your, your average stuff. So it's completely fine. And for a spring summertime fragrance that most people would consider a daytime scent, I'm more than happy with the performance here. No issues at all. Lacoste is one of those houses that has a little bit of a soft spot in my heart because they don't cost all that much from discounters typically. I mean, some of their fragrances cost a little more than others at discounters, but by and large, you can pick them up pretty cheap. And I feel like for the price, they have great usability, versatility. Uh, people like them a lot. They're easy to wear. I mean, they're simple most of the time, but they do what they're made to do and they do it pretty well. So it's a house that I like. Never gonna be the type of house that gets people hyped because they think it's doing groundbreaking stuff. But with Lacoste, usually you know what you're in for. Something easy going, easy to wear, inexpensive, and something pleasing. That's what they're going for and they do it well. And this one actually stands out quite a lot. I think that this one, and then maybe like Lacoste Loam Intense, those two stand out in my mind a little bit for doing things slightly different, but keeping that wearability there and then having a great price at discounters. So, but I wanted to let you guys know that I think this is a really solid fragrance. And if you like fragrances that do have a, a slight, slight throwback feel to them, you know, a little bit of a late 90s, early 2000s vibe to it, but still having wearability and not coming across overly dated and not a fragrance that everybody and their mother wore that you can pick up for a cheap price that has decent performance and uh, good versatility that people like. You should check this out. So there we go, Lacoste Style in Play. If you've smelled that one, let me know in the comments below what you think about it, if you like it, if you don't like it, all that good stuff. Thank you guys for hanging with me here today. Stay safe out there. I'll see you all tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys later.